Welcome, Cancer Leo, to your Astro Dice reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with your Astro Dice. For those of you who are new, this is where we take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Cancer Leo, please, for the Cancer Leos. Cancer Leo, what's going on with you in the month? We got Saturn coming out as your planet with Virgo energy in the 12th house. And remember, friends, it's only taking one house. Okay, so we're not doing all the houses. Just the one that seems very influential at, at the time. And they're all going to have influences, but this is the one. Of if it resonates with you. Okay, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom is what it is. And going Virgo over here, and this Virgo energy coming in is talking about the energy, the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, humble, with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. So it's just like you're really getting out there. You're really hardworking. You're really putting everything that, um, that you have into understanding and the wisdom and this taking this challenge. So definitely not going to be sitting down. Um, you know, you're definitely going to be working hard. Um, like this guy sitting on his knees, his back might hurt. He might even have some knee pain, right? <laughs> it's like, uh oh, here we go. Okay, so going straight into the 12th house, and this is because this is the area of your life that is overwhelming you. You yield to a greater cause of power. So you're really wanting to understand what is going on, taking the challenge to understand the main factors of your life and understanding right now. So your inner self, dreams, secrets, and past, subconscious, and karma. So really getting into those secrets, those dreams, however it is that you can gain the wisdom from. Very nice. Okay, so getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. So let's see what's going on with you. Clarify right on the Saturn, the Virgo, and the 12th house, and what is going on with them. Four of Swords, ooh, Four of Wands, and the Two of Swords, <coughs> excuse me, so, wow, really getting into what, what is really passionate within yourself, really taking on this passionate, heavy duty energy over here with the Virgo saying, this is exactly what I want, this is exactly the way things are going to go really getting into the newly acquired prosperity or looking for it, accepting the challenge to take whatever it is that you love. Okay, so, and finding that peace and tranquility within yourself um, when doing so. So it does feel like over here with this Virgo that not only is it very dutiful and very hard working um, and a lot of hard work for you to do, you're also being very humble about the situation, very peaceful, really finding the peace within this not um, allowing yourself to get all crazy, right? Because you have the two of swords is right side up. So you're not really showing any kind of anxieties towards this. You're just being very peaceful about this. You're like, I'm going to do this. This is what I want. So that's very good. Um, and then, of course, over here, accepting the challenge um, with the four of swords in reverse is really just desiring to guard what you're looking for. This is a guarded card. It's saying, I'm guarding this. This is what I'm passionate about because I know that this is what I need to do, right? There's offsetting um, factors going on that you need to figure out what is going on. So you're not blinded to them. You don't want to be blinded. So it's really taking precautions and really getting down into the activity. Moving right along, right? So clarifying on the Four of Swords. Four of Wands and the Two of Swords, please. Having a better understanding. Yes, yeah, for your dream. And there's that dream over here for the goals, for the things that you want in the 12th house. Really going for that. And wow, this is really saying it too, right? Hey, this is what I desire. I need to take this challenge so that I can gain the wisdom so that I can get exactly where I need to be. 
knowing that you're doing this, you're also letting go of any kind of painstaking error. Anything that's going to cause you disharmony, you are completely letting that go. Not a letting, allowing that in your energy in the beginning of the month to even have anything because you don't want any offsetting factors. You've already become aware of who's upsetting me, who's doing this. Um, I'm going to stay away from that person or that situation so that I can get to where I need to be. Could be a Scorpio that you need to ignore for a while. Um, yeah, because it does feel like if you do have a Scorpio, here's another Scorpio card. They may be trying to propose all these things and these opportunities to you. Maybe they're asking you to go on dates or do things that are out kind of outside of the box of what you're moving for. Right. So if you're in challenge mode and you're trying to do all these other things, they may be coming in saying, no, take a day off and come out and, and play and do this. And you're like, I can't right now. You know, I'm trying to do something. Um, so it does feel like there's these other factors going on um, that are trying to imbalance you. But you're staying very balanced, doing what you need to do. OK, so let's go over here to the middle of the month. Middle of the month is showing you going into high priestess mode because of the king of coins. Um, and it's not really working. There's something that is, is it this this Scorpio, right? Could be anybody. It could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius, could be anyone. Um, could be here, we've got Aquarius twice, so definitely could be Aquarius for you. Is someone kind of getting into your bubble, right? Here you are over here. Still trying to gain the wisdom. Here it is, the wisdom. Gaining the wisdom. But it feels like you're gaining wisdom about this person. Um, and it could be a whole nother person, right? Because the energy is a little bit different from this person over here. So this could be your friend saying, no, let's not do that. Let's do this. Um, you might be gaining wisdom about a job or another friend or a loved one or something. Um, and you're realizing this person is guilty of something <laughs> right you you're wise now to the reasons why maybe you can't get to the goals that you're looking for i cannot get to where i need to be and i'm trying to gain wisdom about what's going on um and it feels like it is definitely this king of coins you're trying to gain wisdom about whether it is a situation a job a person the energy is coming up as very earthy um and it's you have gained the wisdom to know I'm not going to move towards you anymore, right? I'm not going to do it. It's not working or it's not worth it or this job is not worth it. You got pinnacles over here, so it could definitely be a job as well. This job is not paying me what I need and maybe that's the goal. Maybe the goal is to sit back and say, hey, are you going to give me the time? Are you going to give me the hours? Are you going to give me the money that I'm looking for? Um, Either that or, you know, so a card of corruption. Maybe you feel they're corrupt. They're con men. They're doing something. Um, for others of you, you might be finding out that your loved one is unfaithful. And you're not moving towards them. And this is what the whole thing is, right? Well, I don't know if I want to take on this with you because, you know, there's been things going on. That I have to think about. So take it how it resonates to be different for everyone. But you've definitely thought about the corruption. Definitely corruption. And not moving towards them anymore. So at least in the mid-month you figure this out. Yeah, it's like your wisdom has matured now. And you can see what's exactly going on over here. Um, nothing now is uh, going to hold you back or make you feel like, um, well, I just don't know if that's true. No, I know it's true. Don't tell me it's not true, right? Because you're in high priestess mode. So therefore, no one could say anything. Even if they came to you and lied, you'd be like, I don't think so. Don't tell me. I know now. Um, they're kind of up in their head about it. Doesn't really feel like you're really up in your head about it. I just want you to know right now, the king of coins, whether it's this job, this boss, this person, they're up in their head about it. They're the ones because now they're caught. Now they know that you're not moving towards them. They know something's up. So they may be noticing, you know, maybe you're giving your two weeks notice because you realize that they are corrupt bosses. There's favoritism. There's something going on in the job, right? They're a little up in their, their head about it, no matter what. Um, and it's because of guilt. 
they know that they're guilty of the crime of corruption, unfaithfulness, whatever it is for you, my friends. Yes, and there it is, guilt, queen of coins. You couldn't even say that. There it is. They're guilty. You're not moving towards them because you know they're guilty. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. You know they're guilty. You know? You know they're guilty of this crime, um, of whatever it is, right? And boy, are they in their head. The end of the month, you have the devil. Could definitely be dealing with Capricorn. You have the devil, the th eight of cups, and the five of cups coming out in the end of the month. The devil is showing this toxicity that you're walking away from. You're definitely going to walk away from this toxicity. You have had enough because you've gained the knowledge. The knowledge was the toxicity that was going on. You now understand full heartedly. Um, yeah, as soon as you went into uh, high priestess mode. You fully understand the challenges that are at hand and you're, it feels like you're not taking the challenge anymore because the challenge is done. Now you can move towards what you really want, which is the star card, the dreams that you have. Five of cups. No more having to worry, right? The worries are over. I figured it out. So whatever was on your mind, Cancer Leo, you have now figured out the truth. And this month is about truth seeking, gaining the wisdom of why is this person messing with me? You need to go play with Scorpio over here later, right? Your best friend, whoever it is. <laughs> you know, when you figure this out, man, if you are dealing with Scorpio, man, you're going to uh, definitely uh, be having a lot to talk about with them once you gain the knowledge of what's really going on. Because this right here is just really talking about the hopeful outlook. Now you can, like I said, you can see that star coming in. See how they're kind of next to each other. So yeah, you can, you know, build where you need to build, do what you need to do, and move away from that toxic energy. Boy, the end of the month, they may even show you that they're even more toxic than you realize, right? For a lot of you, it was a love relationship. You thought it was something you loved. It was toxic. Um, I bet it doesn't have to be love. It was just you involved. And maybe a place that you thought you loved. A place you felt very tied to, which is just ended up very toxic. So now you're like, man, it really kind of sucks, you know, that I, you know, really like this or whatever. But you were so corrupt. And this is what you've learned. So you've learned about this and you're walking away. A page of swords, learning, taking the challenge, gaining the wisdom, um, and also having the wisdom to walk away and say, hey, you know, I'm not going to take this. So you've learned something and then you were like, got to go. Yep. Queen of Cups. Going after the Queen of Cups. Maybe this other person over here was somebody you're very interested in. Maybe it's not a friend. Maybe it's a friend you're interested in dating. And then they, they can come in and take this other person's place. <coughs> Maybe you'll find out that the Queen of Cups, who is the Knight of Cups, actually, um, I don't know, for some of you, why do I feel like maybe the Knight of Cups has brought it up to you? Hey, you know, I think something's going on with the King of Coins over here. I think there's something corrupt about them. Um, I think their behavior is toxic. I think they're cheating on you. They're unfaithful. They're doing something wrong. Um, but maybe it's because they really do love you and they want to be a part of you. So you can keep it that way as well. Um, otherwise, you could just say, hey, you know what? I'm stepping into my power. No matter what, it's you stepping into your power as Cancerian saying, I've seen it. I know it. My emotions are all better now because now that I've learned the truth, I can go on with my life, you know, in so many other ways. And I can go hang out with the Knight of Cups. Friend, whoever it is. Okay. And there you are, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.